Hail pummeled portions of Georgia and Florida this week due to some very strong thunderstorms. That same system moved through the Midlands and brought a much different impact here. It produced hail in some areas, but not to the same intensity you're seeing here. Meteorologist Aaron Walker explains how hail forms and why some hail can be worse than others. Most thunderstorms have hail in the upper part of clouds, but not all thunderstorms produce hail on the ground. Hail forms when strong updrafts or upward winds carry water droplets high into the atmosphere. The water droplets are lifted to a height where the air temperature is below freezing, causing them to freeze into ice. These ice particles then fall back down toward the ground, but get caught in another strong updraft. This updraft carries them back into the freezing temperatures where more water droplets freeze onto the existing ice. The duration of the hail in clouds can explain why hail has different sizes. Picture it like a snowball with more layers being added. This process continues until the hailstones become too heavy for the updrafts to hold them up and they fall to the ground. Earlier this week, our neighbors in Georgia experienced hail in varying sizes. For News 19, I'm meteorologist Aaron Walker. Even if there isn't a storm, we still want you to uh, send pictures from around the Midlands of your weather shots. You can join our Weather Watchers group on Facebook. Feel free to share and post what weather you're seeing in your area. It may make one of our evening or early morning broadcast. You can also connect with our News 19 meteorologist for the latest updates on the weather anytime. And of course, be sure to stay up to date with the weather in your area for the latest forecast. Just download the WLTX app. You can also get weather updates on our website, WLTX.com. And again, be sure to follow our meteorologists on their social media pages.